Alfie, come here. We don't want to leave Alfie out so he doesn't get upset. Alfie, I also love you. You are also loved, okay? Yes, you guys love each other. You see? Everyone loves everybody. <laughs> Hello Vogue, I'm Giselle and I'm going to show you some of my objects of affection. Come with me. We are in Florida, outside of Miami, where I have my little ranch with my animals. And um, yeah, it's my little home. So I just moved to Florida a little over a year and a half ago. And it feels like Brazil. I love how warm people are. My kids love it too. We can have a life outdoors. We do a lot of things outdoors. The most important thing for me is just to create a comfortable space where the kids can roam around and the animals can roam around and we can feel this connection to nature and to animals. I love that because it just makes me happy, you know? Como están, chicos? This is Item. Hi, baby. This is my daughter's horse. He's not an object, but we just love him so much. He's a little teddy bear. Since I was a little kid, I've always loved horses. Now I have the opportunity to share this passion with my daughter and my daughter loves jumping and we ride together, but she is really amazing. She's super courageous. She just jumps anything. I've done my times of jumping. Now I just kind of like riding around and I just love being with him. I just love being with animals because they're full of love and you're around the nature and you're with them. I feel like I'm in my element, you know, they're just so special. Oh yeah, this is the kitty. He actually came on the property when I bought it. It was here. Look at him. Hi, BB. Hi, BB. How are you? Alfred. Look at Alfie. Alfie's like, Mama. No, you you look how cute. Yeah. Look at you. Now can you do be jealous? You cannot be jealous of the kitty. So come this way, here, a volleyball. I used to play volleyball when I was a kid and it makes me so happy that my daughter now, she loves it too. So we play here. She wants to play for her school and she's, you know, she's 11 and that's about the time I started playing, like anything else, I think the more you do something, the better you become at it. And I didn't play for years. And now that my daughter wants to play, I'm playing again with her and it's so fun. It's just so fun watching her. And I feel like I'm getting all the excitement with volleyball again. The volleyball will be the object, but it's more than the volleyball. It's the actual experience of sharing this with my daughter. Because it's not really the object. It's never really the object. Let's be honest, you know, it's something emotional, it's something that, that that feeling that that creates. This is very special to me because it was my first American Vogue cover and I can't even believe I haven't looked at this magazine for 20 something years. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I was 18 when I shot it. It was a very special day. We were at the park in New York. It was Stephen Maisel. And when they call me and they say, hey, you're going to do a American Vogue cover, try. You know, it wasn't guarantee. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. The biggest thing you could do as a model, you know, to be in an American book cover. So this was the beginning of everything. And it was the time of the heroin shake. So it was a very important moment because this was the, the cover and it was the return of the sexy model, which was, I never considered myself sexy, but I was very happy that they chose me to represent this moment. And then I did this picture with Irving Penn and it was a nude. This was the picture, the return of the curve. It was kind of a beginning of a new era in fashion. And I was just so lucky that I, I guess I was at the right place at the right time because I was not working very much on the heroin chic area, let's put it that way. By the way, it came out on my birthday on July, 1999. I, I turned 19 when he came out. I shot it when I was 18 and then he came out in July. So what a bigger present. Okay, this is great. Peace and calming oils. I love it. Usually I just put it here and I go like that. And then I breathe. Sometimes we forget to breathe, you know? I've been meditating for 20 years and the breath is what kind of brings you back to center. It allows you to just kind of reconnect with yourself. Aromatherapy oils are, it's, they're amazing. Eucalyptus, I put it in the diffuser. When the kids are sick, I put peppermint on their feet. I mean, it's, it's amazing. 
All right, so one of my favorite things that I love to make, and everyone loves it here at our house, is granola. So I'm gonna show you how you make it. Pick up a bunch of your favorite nuts, whatever they are. You put some of that. You put some yummy coconut nibs, brown sugar, cinnamon. Cinnamon is yummy, I love it. Everything we're making here, you, you know. This comes from nature, you understand. We're putting pecans, we're putting flax seeds. You know, these are all like actual ingredients that are whole ingredients. I like to use my hands when I cook. I just like to feel the food, you know? It's like so nice. I always like my hands on everything. So make sure they're washed. And I just put it in the oven at 300 for like 15, 20 minutes. It just depends. This is how it's gonna look. So this is about 20 minutes. So you see, it's, it's very kind of toasty. It's so good. I'm gonna try it. Mm. Look at this. Now the best part, bless your food. I believe that everything is energy too. And I think whatever we bring our presence to something and we eat it with an intention, it changes things as well. I think it's so important, not just what you're eating, but how you're eating, you know what I mean? It's such a gift and it's such an honor for us to have food and receive food because food is what sustains our life. And then I hear have some of my favorite things that my kids made. My daughter, she was like learning about ancient pottery and she came home very proud with her little pottery. It has her, her energy, so I, I, I love that. And this is one of the drawings that Benny did, is a self-portrait. This is my son. He did this a while ago, a few years back, but he is an incredible artist. I'm so proud of him. If you see the drawings that he makes, you're like, how do you do that? He's like literally self-taught, like he just does it. Since he was little, like when he was five years old, he had a desk outside his room and whenever I wake up to go meditate, I would just see his the light on and I'm like, Benny, what are you doing? He'll be drawing. He has hundreds and hundreds of those booklets like this full of drawings. So he just loves it. He's like, he goes into his own world. And this is one of his little drawings of himself. Have you tried the cinnamon projects? No? Incense? Look how cute it is. It's so pretty and it comes with all these different stones that you can have. Like they have stones for rejuvenation, for calm and tranquility. And I don't know, I love stones. I have a huge collection. And I love that that has like a stone in it and a great smell because it's so nice to have little rituals. It just makes life so nice, like having fresh flowers. When I wake up in the morning, I love to light a candle or an incense before I do my meditation. It's just the little things in life. All right, I just hope you enjoy spending this time with me and I hope you have a beautiful day. Ciao.